Hello, my name is Hamza and welcome from Ace Prep. Each year we receive queries from several parents across Pakistan asking us questions about the admission testing process at Aitzen College. So this year we decided to make a short educational video answering some of the most frequently asked questions focusing on issues such as age criteria, teaching methodologies and so forth. So when should a child start school? Each year, Aitzen College releases its age criteria on its parents portal online for the admission testing process. So if you look at this year's age criteria, we can see for K2, those born between 1st of June 2016 to 31st May 2017 are eligible to take the entrance test exam in March 2023. Now what that simply means is that the youngest boy on the exam day in March would be 5 years and 10 months and the oldest boy would be 6 years and 10 months and all other boys taking the exam would be in between these two age ranges. Now what I, I recommend is that coming back to our original question, when should a child start school is that we need to refer closely to, to, the, to the age criteria which is provided to us by Itson College. And according to my calculations, those born between 1st of June 2019 to 31st May 2020 are eligible to be part of, 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 of our playgroup session at ACE. Generally, they should be starting school at 2.5, 2.75, max by three years, depending if they're born towards June. Learning is a slow and gradual process, and in this case, it's about choosing the right institute and starting at the right time. For those who start early on that is in playgroup, it would take roughly three years to get to grade one, and from there, it would take one year of rigorous prep to prepare for the ITSAN admission test. Having said that, those who start later on would need evening classes and coaching to prep for the ITSAN college test. So they would probably need morning sessions as well as evening sessions to cover up for their loss. So what should students focus on while taking their entrance exam? Uh, since the last few years, uh, students taking the entrance exam are being tested in English and mathematics. So it is important for students studying English. Uh, they should focus on grammar and they should improve their spellings. They should work on their tenses and they, they should be really good at reading and not only reading, comprehending the, the passage so that they can answer the questions because uh, the syllabus is divided between comprehension and uh, the creative writing. As far as maths is concerned, um, they should start developing a thorough understanding of the, the topics that are mentioned in the syllabus which although they seem to be simple but uh, the examiner has uh, his or her own way to test these concepts in, in, in a rather complicated way. So it is very important to understand those concepts. The correct pedagogy or, or teaching methodology. So we at ACE recommend a lot of worksheets focusing rigorously on development of dictations, spellings. Uh, we also focus on enhancing reading ability, cognitive ability, how a child grasps concepts once he sees the passage, is he able to grasp what the passage is all about. That is for English. In writing, we promote a lot of uh, pictures, picture understanding, what the concept is given in the picture, how to create that concept and translate that into onto paper. Uh, we are also focusing a lot on media this year to use media as much as possible, PowerPoints, cartoons, all related to the syllabus to focus more on their cognitive development and to give them an icebreaker uh, for all the monotony that they're facing in school. Secondly, if we look at maths, uh, the concepts are, as Heather has already mentioned, that they're, they're pretty simple, but they, 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 are, they get seemingly uh, complicated as we look at them and their word problems. Uh, so we are also focusing on that. And the idea is to keep them, keep them in practice, keep their tables in practice, keep their word problems in practice. And uh, for those uh, who are focusing on home learning, uh, there should be these concepts should be tested rigorously and in, in, in depth.
ACE has had a track record of excellence and producing outstanding results. Since the past 22 years, ACE has helped more than 700 students get into its own college. And in the past year alone, we had more than 55 students getting into all different classes. All this has only been possible because of our team's hard work, dedication, and perseverance. Our teaching style focuses on providing individual attention and customizing the classroom experience for each and every young toddler. Moreover, in recent times, we have enhanced the use of learning through visual aids, multimedia, activities that would bolster and support more cognitive development of the child. Finally, I'd like to add in that our academic session starts from Mars in the school, so that gives one full year once they come in grade one from kindergarten, that gives a full year of preparation to, to grade one students to prep for the K2 entrance test.